Now to a new health concern this summer, West Nile virus. Someone on the Central Coast died of West Nile recently. News Channel reporter Reed Harmon is live in Santa Maria with tips on what you can do to stay safe. Reed. Yeah. California public health officials confirmed a West Nile virus related death, like you said, the first in the state this year, and it happened to be reported on the Central Coast just 10 days ago. The West Nile virus hits home with the first reported death of the year in California and in San Luis Obispo County. Though it's a low risk virus for serious illness, the mosquito driven infection is always a disease to be cautious about this summer. You would think that with less rain, there would be fewer mosquitoes. And in some ways that's true. Less rain can also mean slower running creeks and more little stagnant pools on the sides. Standing water, even as small as a bottle cap, can breed mosquitoes. Santa Barbara County officials say the virus actually starts from a bird. Mosquitoes then pick it up and drop it off to animals and eventually people. Birds are going to the same source of water to drink and they're all exchanging their diseases there. But Slow County Public Health says it's not very common for humans to get the virus. Thankfully it is very rare, but people need to take precautions to not get mosquito bites. Dr. Penny Bornstein recommends the three D's to stay away from the West Nile virus. The first is to cover up during dusk and or dawn with a long sleeve shirt and some pants. The second one is DEET, a mosquito repellent. And the last one is to dump all your water. The way we know if West Nile is circulating in our community is we test um, mosquito pools, we test dead birds that may be an indicator that they have been affected with West Nile. Um, horses may be impacted with West Nile or a person who has symptoms. According to a state website, there have been two human cases and 68 dead birds reported this year. And if you do see a dead bird, it is encouraged to call the hotline that can be found on our mobile app and also our website. Live in Santa Maria, I'm News Channel reporter Reed Harmon.